What's going on guys, it's Nando doing one more video and this video is a start of a series that I'm going to be making in which I'm going to introduce to you guys, I'm going to show you guys um, kind of my tools, my equipment that I'm using. Now this isn't any brand new discovery, this is nothing new and exciting uh, piece of equipment that's come out that I've got someone else doesn't. This is me as a beginner YouTuber, as a beginner a videographer, um, learning and buying pieces of equipment and things that I think have improved my video production since I've gotten them and things that I hope that will continue to improve my video production going forward. Now, throughout this series, uh, I'm going to be showing you guys tripods, a uh, tripod that I was using when I started off, a tripod that I will be using going forward, the camera that I am using now, uh, comparing it briefly to the camera I did use before, um, also some tripod heads, and just some little tips and tricks and things like that, or some additional equipment that I've come across that I've decided that it will hopefully improve my video production. And hopefully throughout this process, you, if you're deciding to start a YouTube channel and you're thinking about uh, getting started with uh, videography in general, um, if you have any questions, if you have any ideas, any comments whatsoever, please feel free to bounce it off of me. I would love to see what it is that you've got or you're considering getting, and hopefully we can help each other grow, and hopefully this will be an exciting process for all of us. So guys, before I get started, please uh, subscribe to this channel um, if you haven't done so already. I would really appreciate that. And throughout the video, if you like anything whatsoever, especially the pieces of equipment that I'm discussing and showing, please smash that like button as well. Now, getting started, I'm going to start off with this. So in this box, we have a Manfrotto uh, fluid head. So for you guys out there who don't know what Manfrotto is, Manfrotto is a very popular, uh, I say, camera or video equipment company. Um, between the accessories, the tripods, uh, to arms, all those kind of things that uh, we see professional videographers and photographers using in their production. Now, they are, uh, you know, I don't want to say they're expensive because, you know, that term needs to be expensive compared to what? Now, I have hesitated in buying things um, from them because starting off on YouTube, I just couldn't justify spending a couple hundred dollars on pieces of equipment, not knowing if it's something I'm going to like, not knowing if it's something that I think I'm going to be able to be good at or even get better at, right? Now, I'm at a point right now um, on my YouTube channel where I've seen so many different people's videos. I've begun to understand different concepts, techniques, tricks, and because of that, I've decided that I've wanted to uh, expand on my horizon and get better equipment and hopefully that would translate to better videos. That's for you all to judge and I would appreciate if you guys did comment in my future videos what you think about my production. Just in general if you feel like you've noticed uh, an increase um, in, in, in techniques or an improvement in it. But nonetheless, this is a Manfrotto uh, fluid head and there's many different heads out there. There are tons of different tripods to go with it and the reason why I chose uh, this one here that I'm about to unbox, uh, well, it's quite simply uh, price and functionality. So I tried to get something that I felt like wouldn't completely uh, break my bank, make me have to sell a kidney and a half to pay for it. And I got something that I felt like for me for now into the foreseeable future would be good enough for me to do what I have envisioned myself doing going forward. So I think this one in particular is the uh, 502 uh, video head. So if you guys were to go on Amazon, um, and I will link that, and that's uh, all the stuff that I'm showing you here I've gotten from Amazon, so the future videos coming up, uh, you'll all see things that I've just got from the past few days from Amazon. So this is a Manfrotto uh, fluid head uh, with a flat base, and it's the 502. Please click on the link below. It'll take you to Amazon where you'll see what it costs it cost me 145 bucks or 155 bucks, right around there. And I'm excited about it. I really am because currently what you are watching this video on, I'm using a, uh, a video head that came with the tripod. It's literally mounted onto it. Well, it came mounted onto it. It can 
screw off. Um, but it's as basic as basic gets, and I will show you guys what that looks like in a future video. Because in my opinion, hey, it's worked for every video up to this point, so it would still continue to work, and I'm sure that those that have enormous skills would be able to continue to use a tripod like I'm using. But we also know that those that have a lot more skills also can do much better with a better tripod. Um, and a tripod head, I should say. So inside this box, we've got instruction manuals. I'm sure it's gonna teach you some basic techniques, what you can do. Now, this is, uh, this is somewhat heavy, you know, because it's great quality. Here, we have the arm that's going to actually move this head around, right? Vertically or horizontally. So we screw this onto the side and here is where we have the actual head. That's all for the box. So box comes with head, arm, and a manual. Probably some warranty literature. Um, this is some additional tags in multiple languages. But here's the actual head itself. Now you guys obviously can't feel what I feel, but I'm gonna try to explain this through this video as much as possible. This just feels really good. And why I say that is because it's hefty. Um, it's gotta be all metal. I mean, besides some, maybe some plastic knobs, this, the base, the, the top portion where you've got the quick release plate, the knobs itself, um, everything just looks and feels premium, quality premium material. And uh, without doing anything else, I immediately already feel like, uh, you know, these guys know what they're doing. This is a good piece of uh, equipment. And uh, now it's up to me to figure out how to use it and use it well in my videos. But um, I've seen so many videos of this being used, not so much of unboxings of this. That's why I wanted to make this video so you guys could get a better idea of what this actually looks like and is. And I'm actually going to zoom in here in a second to show you guys that in a close up. So in front of us, uh, as you can see, we've got the actual fluid head itself. Um, please try not to fall in love with my cat in the top left-hand corner, but she's also excited about the unboxing. Um, like I said, this feels really good in hand. Um, it's got some serious weight to it. All of these knobs and turns are just feel fluid, just feel smooth, just feel like they're meant to work really, really well. I don't quite know what size this bottom part is here. If this is a three, uh, three eighths or one fourth, I don't know, um, but I will have to find out. On top here is the quick release plate. As you can see, it comes with these additional two right here to fit your camera of choice. Now below here somewhere is a quick release button. I don't know if it's this guy here or maybe this here. I don't know. See, that's why it comes with a manual so we can figure this out. So bear with me, guys, if I sound like total noob and novice because I am. This is all new to me. Um, so as we go forward with these videos, um, I'm going to be learning just as you guys will be as well. So hopefully this close-up and this unboxing gives you guys a better understanding of what this a fluid head looks like and if you have any questions like i said please let me know um and we're gonna go from there guys this is just a quick video hopefully you guys enjoy the series um like i said please uh check the link in the description to get a better understanding of this one and the cool thing about amazon is you click on one thing and it also recommends to you different products so you know, there might be other things out there that are better for the price. And I would love for you guys to let me know what you find or what you're using as well. There's tons of companies. Anywho, it was Nando with my new Manfrotto fluid head. And I'm out. Peace.